So one of the main questions that I've been getting lately is how do I use a plugin with all one photo raw? So let's jump into the computer and I'm going to walk you through that. So here we are inside of the computer and I made some minor corrections to the image. So this is the photo without any of the corrections in it. And then this is a version of the photo with the corrections in it. Now, before you can actually use plugins with On One Photo Raw, you actually have to map them. In order to do that, what you want to do is click on On One Photo Raw, or if you're on a PC, I believe this is under File, but essentially you want to get to the Preferences, and then when the Preference menu opens, you'll click on Plugins. Now, when you get to the Plugins menu, one of two things will happen. Either one, if you have Photoshop installed, it's going to read wherever you have your plugins stored inside of Photoshop. And then that's what on one is going to direct itself to to open up that particular plugin. Or you can do what I've done here, which is select a secondary folder and then you put all of your executable files for your plugin inside of there. Now, if that is confusing to you, when you are installing your programs, it should ask you where you want to store them. As long as you store them in a place that you can navigate to, and again, I put them all into one folder, then it works out fine. I want to be clear, you do not have to have Photoshop to use plugins with On One Photo Raw. If you got questions, leave that in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try and answer as best I can. Maybe even link up to a few articles from On One that explain this. Once you have your plugins set, you may have to restart your computer in order for, or I'm sorry, restart On One. You could restart your computer, uh, but you may have to restart the program in order for it to work. Now, once you have that going, you can click on layer and then you'll come down to filters. And you can see I have a few different filters already, or plugins, I should say, already installed on my machine. The one that we're gonna be using today is Boris FX. But if you have Nick Collection, then all of your Nick Collection should show up inside of one folder or drop down menu. And if you have Skyloom, uh, this is Luminar Neo. Once upon a time, I had Luminar AI and Luminar 4 all working inside of here and then of course i have topaz with the topaz photo ai but nonetheless this drop down menu will be specific to the plugins that you have installed on your machine now i'm going to select boris effects optics 2022 because that's the plugin i want to use now my machine it open up it opens optics pretty quick so here we are this is not me speeding up anything this is just so how, how fast it opens up on my computer and I now have my image in front of me I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on a film look here so I'm gonna come to film lab and we're gonna click on film stocks and what I like about Boris effects is really how fast you can really build some stuff up I'll make more videos about Boris effects because this is a phenomenal program and I'm not going to make anything like crazy, over the top, awesome, artsy. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make something that's probably not even, eh, maybe I'll go with this. Yeah, because I just want to show how the plugins work. Now, I could add more layers and really start to build this up. And, you know, this is just me working inside of the program. So whichever program you choose to work in then that's what's going to really drive the way that you style your particular image or do whatever you're going to do. Um, I'll add something really crazy like this uh, kaleidoscope looking thing or warp chroma. I've never used any of this before, but whatever. Now, what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here where it says apply and most of the plugins should say apply or okay, one of those two. I don't know all of the plugins, but this is the way that you get this back into On One Photo Raw. And when I hit apply, what it's gonna do is save out all those changes and then it's gonna give me a new layer. I tried to time that with how long it normally takes, but I was off. Anyhow. I have a new layer over here and you can see it looks quite crazy. Now, if I turn this layer off, then you can see the original image that I already had inside of on one. And then when I turn this back on, you can see the layer that I brought in. 
Now, I do want to make you aware that whenever you work in a layer based process with on one and you save the layers, you're going to end up with a dot on photo file. And that's similar to like a PSD file. It just tells on one that you need to store all of the layer information so that way it can open the file appropriately later down the line. Now, if you don't want to store a on photo file because those can get quite large and take up some space on your computer or your hard drive, what you can do is right click on the top layer and then you can hit merge visible. Now, I'm going to do it just to show you. I'm okay if this image gets a little destroyed, but this is a destructive workflow because now I have literally combined all of the visible layers. If I had five layers with a blue dot on it, all five of those layers would have merged into this one. And then that would cause me to lose the ability to edit individual layers. I hope that made sense. But now this is going to save as a much smaller file because it doesn't have all of that layer data. Now I am going to hit command Z to undo that. And the good news is as long as you don't close out of your file after you hit the merge visible, you'll be able to use your undo feature so that way you can get back to what you want. And if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to actually just blend that in. I have no idea what I'm going for here. Maybe I want to mask away some of this and just kind of keep that uh, in one area. So if I click on the mask and I just paint away around the bird, pull up on the opacity here, paint away around the bird so that way the bird isn't impacted by this, uh, this effect, so to speak, then I now have a stylized image, probably not the greatest showing, but the real goal here was just explaining how you can use plugins with On One Photo Raw. Hopefully you found some value. If you did, smash the like button. If you want to see more content centered around On One Photo Raw with the new 2024 version coming out, I'm so excited for it because I'm going to be making content about that program and you know the brilliance AI and all the cool stuff coming. So if you want to see more and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you're considering picking up On One Photo Raw 2024 and you want to save a little bit of money, consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20. That's going to save you 20% at checkout. And I am recommending that a majority of people purchase the standalone version. I have a whole video talking about why I think the standalone version is better than maybe going with a subscription model. And you can check that out here in the end screen. And so next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating.